Earlier this week, this company Cubic claims to have controlled over 51% of Monero's hash rate, potentially enabling it to reorganize blocks, sensor transactions, and attempt double spins. Apparently, he's saying this was to stress test Monero. And, you know, it's kind of like I'm doing a public service to see if this is even possible. But apparently they were paying Monero miners and in incentives like they were basically offering them more for their hash rate than they could conceivably earn from other pools or from self mining to aggregate their hash rate. And then they ended up reorganizing blocks and attacking the network. In, in theory, you don't actually need 51% to do some of these things that they did. 33% to 50% could be enough. And as long as you have enough hash rate to win successive blocks, then you can reorg and you can orphan blocks that are on the chain that you don't want to be canonical, right? Uh, the reputational damage from something like this is is pretty staggering. These sorts of things, I think, are educational events. You know, we talk a lot about markets and ETFs and uh, regulatory developments, right? But some technical foundations of how the systems work, I feel like a lot of people don't actually approach until something like this comes up. And then you can talk about it and you can actually learn like, oh, you know, this is what happens. This is how we would come to consensus in this type of situation. This is what power miners actually have in the system.